was uh, the Biblical Christian Channel talking with uh, Gino Aaron Corolla, and um, I want to start off. I'm going to make a short video right now because this is this right here is a call out to all my my brothers in Christ, right? That spent time with me up in Dallas. Uh, you know, you know who you are. Uh, we were together out there. We did Bible studies. We had Saturday Bible studies from eight o'clock in the morning till nine twenty in the morning. You know, uh, we got up early. We're out there, rain, sleet, or snow. It didn't matter, right? And so what I want to do is I want to tell you guys that we have a friend of ours that was with us out there, okay? His name is Corey Miner, K-O-R-E-Y. Some of you might remember him. Uh, some of you might not have uh, been there when he was there. But the bottom line is this is a good Christian brother. Uh, he, he knows the Word of God. I admire him. I look up to him, and, uh, and I learn from him. But what he does is he'll get on here, and he, not only does he teach biblical truth, but he defends, right, the gospel against people that'll come out and they'll lie. They'll tell, uh, make up stories, basically, which is just incredible. Uh, tw you know, twist and turn the Bible to make it mean whatever they want to. And so I'm telling you guys about his channel, Corey Miner, K-O-R-E-Y, the Smart Christian channel. And uh, he had a video that he did about uh, Hebrew Israelites. And the name of the video is called Why um, uh, Arguing with Hebrew Israelite or is stupid, right? You can't argue with people that don't want to know what the truth is. And so I'm telling you guys about this because I want to stand together with our brother, Corey Miner, uh, as his brother in Christ. And um, these guys, these Hebrew Israelites basically got on there. You know, they, they, they said that people that watch his channel, they're not men, right? Which we don't let that kind of stuff get under our skin because that's a fleshly thing, right? Uh, we want to be men. We want to have pride. We want to have ego and stand for what's right according to what the world says. But the bottom line is, as Christians, we don't do that, right? And Corey Miner gave such a good example of what it means to stand in love, in the face of people who are the way that these Hebrew, uh, Hebrew Israelites are, that I just want to say something about him. I want to, I want to pat him on the back. I want to, I want to, I want to tell the rest of the brothers that was together with us at Dallas because these guys said that people, Christians are not men, right? I know a lot of you guys listening right now. We all been uh, through things according to the standard of the world that proves a person's manhood, right? In the wrong way, obviously, but according to the standard of the world, what a world says a man is, that's definitely what we who call ourselves Christians were before we got to the point of understanding the truth of, uh, of the gospel, right? So these guys haven't made it there yet. So they are potentially our brothers in Christ, but for them to say the things that they said about us Christians and about our Lord and Savior and about my guy, Corey Miner at the Smart Christian Channel, is uh, it, it's wrong, right? And as a man, I know how to stand for the truth. I know how that when you recognize the truth, you can admit the truth. And whenever you are not lying to yourself, then you don't have to turn around and lie to other people. See, like if I make up a, a belief system, let's say I want to believe in pink elephants, which is basically what these Hebrew Israelites have done. They've made a belief system They've decided to follow it, right? But it's imaginary. So it might as well be pink elephants. But the bad part about it is they've twisted the word of God to try to make it say something hateful and racist and completely contrary to the nature of God, right? God is love. He's all he's, he's mercy and grace and just and holy and righteous, but he is love. So there can't be, you can't even be under the law and follow the commandments and hate another person or want another person to be done any kind of a way that's not in line with what the, what the scriptures say. These guys are way wrong. They're very offensive. And they say that we ain't men. Well, I'm right here. I'm a man. And I believe in Jesus Christ. I stand for my Lord and Savior. I stand for the word of God. I stand for truth. And I stand with my guy, Corey Miner. And I know for many people seeing this, they might not know what I'm talking about. But as a Christian, we don't stand with the world. We stand together by standing apart against the lies. These people are going to go out to talk to other people that are ignorant of what the Bible says and going to lead them in the wrong direction. So we have to be the men that God called us to be. And trust me, my man, he called us to be men. But men recognize the truth, accept it, and in turn, they're able to pass that truth on. They don't make up something and then follow that. You might as well be living in a fairy tale land. Uh, you know, go, go, to, go to Cinderella's house. You know, go hang out with Santa Claus. Uh, go see the Easter Bunny. Bunny, do something like that if you want to play make believe. But if you want to get 
the word of God and you want to live your life by it, you don't make it say what you want it to say. You tell, you let it tell you what it says. And it starts by saying, love your neighbor. I mean, love your God and love your neighbor. If you can't do them two things, those two things right there, if any part of your theology leaves up, love your God and love your neighbor, not only are you not biblical, right? But you're not what God says a man is. So when you want to tell people that they're not men, we do and, and live our way according to what God says. What God says a man is, that's what a man is. So get you some understanding, read your Bible, and hopefully come on over here and, and, uh, and be in line with the truth with the rest of us. Amen? Okay. Okay. <laughs>